everybody welcome back to my channel so today I am super super excited to be doing a makeup look I haven't done a makeup look in quite a while here on my channel and I am super super excited because finally she made it permanent it is out it is available the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk palette oh, I actually got my hands on this in December and she wasn't relaunching it permanently until now and you can now get this i'm so excited i hope it doesn't sell fast for you guys because the first time she like launched this it went like so so fast so if you want it grab it before it is gone it is such a pretty palette um i honestly think this is a great look for valentine's day um coming up if you have a date night with your hubby or your boyfriend or your fiance or whoever um i think this is such a pretty palette like i mean it's just so valentine's right perfect timing i guess charlotte hilbury so i am going to be doing this look right here i hope you guys enjoy it and let's get started okay guys i am going to kind of clip my hair back so we can get started i think i'm gonna go in with well definitely the foundation i'm gonna use is the peach perfect i've been loving this lately and i can't believe i'm saying that because i am super dry and it's been working out really well with these two things. Um, I'm gonna start off with the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. Um, I kinda go a little heavy with this just because it's really moisturizing and I find that the more I am moisturized and feel like hydrated, the better my makeup looks throughout the day. I'm also going to go in, like I said, with the Burberry. This is the Fresh Glow Luminous Fluid Base in number one. I'm just going to take a little bit of that. And it's so, I don't know if you could see, like how pretty of a sheen it gives your skin. It's just really natural. It's not overdone, but you can just see it slightly peeking out under the foundation, um, but not like glittery don't like glitter super random tip though if you are having a no makeup day and you are a super super dry skin girl like myself take just like a little bit of this and just kind of spread it on your skin and you have like a little bit of glow um and you look like hydrated but you don't have any makeup on um i do that sometimes just because i'm like i do not wanna i don't have time to put on makeup um but if I just pump like a little bit of that, even if you mix it in with your moisturizer or just put it on, um, it just gives you like a little bit of a glow um, without having to go in with a bunch of makeup. Okay, for the Peach Perfect Foundation, I'm in the shade Porcelain right now, which is kind of funny because I don't feel like that is porcelain. I don't know. Maybe it is. Um, and I can't believe I'm wearing the shade Porcelain. It is a little light for me. But I had a really hard time finding my shade match. Um, and I kind of always do with Too Faced um, skin products. I have a tough time finding um, a match that works well with my skin. Because I kind of have like very neutral skin. But I have like a pinky pinkiness to it. And they tend to be very yellow based. So I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and just kind of blend that in. I have a fresh beauty blender. There's nothing better than a fresh beauty blender. You guys, I've been like loving this foundation. I, I can't believe I'm saying that because it is matte. I am so dry. Um, but for concealer, I'm going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape as always. I'm actually like scraping sides with this. I think I've been scraping sides with this for a little bit now. I'm like about out. Um, I'm in the shade, or I use the shade light. It just says light. I think there's like 10 different lights out there, but mine just says light. So that's what I use. And I find this is like my perfect under eye color shade. And it's super full color. All right, so I'm just gonna blend it out with my beauty blender. Kind of take whenever I do this um, on my under eye, just take whatever is left on the beauty blender and just kind of wipe it on my lids, kind of even out that. 
All right, to set my concealer, I'm going to use a little bit of the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Um, I just dip my little beauty blender, and I put about that much, and I just dab. Um, I love this, but she came out with a, like, pressed kind of under eye powder that I really want to try. Um, but I want to use this up first before I go purchase that. I've had this thing forever. It lasts so long, you guys. It's definitely worth it. I love it. It's so good. All right, and then I am going to quickly do my primer on my lids. I always do this um, just because it just helps the longevity of my eyeshadow. And ever since I started using this, I like can't stop. And anytime I don't use it, I see a difference. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is go in with bronzer. I'm gonna use my Chanel bronzer. I have not used this in a while. Um, and I'm actually using this brush, which is my favorite brush to use this with. It is the Sigma Soft Angled Contour F23 brush. I love it for this bronzer. And again, I have not used this bronzer in forever and I love this bronzer. It's so good. Um, I had just been using my Tom Ford one like to death and as much as I do love that one, um, I just kind of wanted to change a little bit. So I'm going to kind of go back to this one for a little bit. Okay, we're kind of jumping all around here today. I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. I'm using the Anastasia Perfect Brow Pencil and the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Um, those are pretty much what I use every day. I have been using the Benefit Gimme Brow, but... I don't know. I know they brought it back. I kind of feel like it's different. If you repurchased it after they brought it back, do you feel like it's different? Um, cause I feel like it's a little bit different. Okay. And for the star of the show, I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury quad in the shade pillow talk. It's so pretty you guys. I bought this in December and it is so pretty. I used it for a special event and it was just gorgeous. It's, I feel like a lot of her quads are very like a little dramatic <laughs> and like very like special occasion kind of quads. And this one I feel like is the first one that I can say is like an everyday one. Like you could totally use these two colors right here every day. That's a great one to just pop on the lid even for a really light look or you can use it under your brow bone and that is just a really pretty like glittery shade <laughs> but that one's more of like special occasion I guess. Um, we are going to use all four colors today and I'm going to go ahead and start off. I'm going to kind of pop my fluffy brush here into both of these colors and to pick up a little bit of each and go in the crease here. Right, and then I'm going to take, now that I kind of like went a little crazy and wild, um, I'm going to take a little bit um, on a smaller fluffy brush of just the darkest shade and um, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to kind of like define the outer V a little bit more. Um, I think it's going to be really, this is going to be a really easy basic look with this palette, but I think this is one like you can't really mess up. It's just really pretty with that end result. All right, and then I'm just gonna take this same one and kind of like focus my color on the other side even though it'll get mixed, that's okay. Um, I'm gonna take that same fluffy brush and go in with the pink shade right here. And I'm actually just gonna kind of fluff this part inward. So I'm just gonna kind of cover the lid with the shade. I'm going to go ahead and use this little shade right here for my brow bone. And I'm also going to take a little bit and go in my inner corner. I'm also going to take this little pencil brush and do the same thing as kind of mix these two and go under my lash line here and kind of connect the outer V. All right, and then I'm going to go in with that little pretty glittery shade. And every time I use these in her quads, I use my finger. I think it's the best way to use them. Um, I don't know if that's what she should suggest, but I like using my finger and I just tap it on. Um, we're going to just take it and tap it on the lid. As 
too or a sparkly no last thing i'm just going to go in with a fluffy brush and just kind of go around the edges here just make sure everything's blended of course i have to go in with my favorite liner on top i'm going to use the kat von d tattoo liner and i'm going to make a little wing like i typically do okay i totally went thicker with my liner which I feel like always happens to me. <laughs> I always try to do like a really thin line and then I end up with this crazy dramatic winged eyeliner. I think that's even a meme. I think there's like a million memes about that somewhere. But I'm going to go in with my typical mascara combo Dior Lash Primer and the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. Okay, next I'm going to use a couple of NARS products for my cheeks. Uh, I have this little, I think it was a birthday gift from Sephora or something. It is the NARS blush and orgasm it's so pretty i think it's a really pretty pink um i really would love to get a hold of charlotte tilbury's the pillow talk um blush but i think this one is just as pretty with this because it kind of gives that like pinky goldy look like the eye palette so i think it's so pretty i think it complements the palette really well and then for highlight i'm going to use the nars highlighter in hot sand um such a pretty highlight as well kind of has like a peachy goldeny undertone so i thought it would kind of complement the whole look and kind of pull it all together i haven't used this highlighter in so long i've been using the laura mercier one and it's a little bit more subtle so i miss this one Okay, next I'm going to do my lips, and I've been going back and forth between a lip color for this look, and I think I am going to go with like a really deeper pink. Um, obviously the Pillow Talk liner, the Pillow Talk liner, and the Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW. This is like the perfect new lipstick, and that combo would look so pretty with this. But I'm gonna go a little bit different. And I'm gonna use a drugstore um, lipstick. This is in, this is by Maybelline, and it's one of their matte lipsticks in Lust for Blush. It's like this really pretty color. I just love it. I don't know, I just really love that color lately. Um, and I'm actually gonna use this lip pencil. It's called the um, Bodyography, by the brand, Bodyography in the shade Heatherberry. And it's like a purpley kind of color. So we're going to go in with that. We're going to see how it looks and go from there. Okay, I love this lip color with it, but I kind of want to tone it down a little bit. So if this ever happens to you, you put on like... A deeper lipstick than you intend um i go in with mac creme de nude and it kind of just tones down because it's like a super muted nude color almost like concealer nude um and i always just kind of tap it on and then blend it with my finger Alright you guys, I absolutely love this look. I think it's so pretty, especially for Valentine's Day, very girly. I love the Charlotte Tilbury palette. It is so, 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 so pretty. I think it's perfect and I'm so glad that it's now permanent and available. Definitely pick it up. It's just a really gorgeous and special palette to have in your collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.